Today, we will dissect the whelk. Whelks is a marine gastropod mollusk belonging to the family Buxinidae, commonly known as sea snails. Let's observe the whelk. It uses an operculum to seal the opening of its shell for protection. When gently placed in water, the operculum opens, revealing its tentacles and eyes extending outside the shell. It moves like a snail, crawling on the surface. All species of whelks share a similar appearance underwater. One notable difference between whelks and land snails is the presence of a siphon. This siphon allows them to breathe by drawing water into the shell, and also helps them sense chemical cues in their aquatic environment. Now, let's begin the dissection of the whelk. To see the internal structures, we need to break open the shell. Using a hammer like this, break open the shell, and then carefully remove the soft body. By gripping the upper part of the shell and twisting it, you can cleanly separate it like this. Firstly, the brown striped part here is the gonad. The gonad is located at the very top. This whelk is a male. The bump on the right side of the head is its reproductive organ. The vase deferens connects the testis to the end of the reproductive organ, allowing the sperm to be expelled outside. Females do not have reproductive organ. They only have an opening for laying eggs. The lower part here is the whelk's foot, and at the back of the foot, you can see the operculum attached. During dangerous moments, the whelk can close the operculum to protect its body. On the opposite side of the operculum, you can find the whelk's facial features. Here, you can see its tentacles and eyes. When you flip the whelk's face, you can see a hole where a tube-like proboscis emerges and retracts. By cutting the back of the head, you can extract the tube-like proboscis. Whelks use their radula to scrape and consume their food. By cutting this area and examining the inside, you can see the radula. If you split the part that leads from the mouth to the esophagus, you'll find salivary glands on both sides that secrete digestive enzymes. To eat whelk, it's essential to remove these glands, because some species produce a toxin called tetramine in their salivary glands. The digestive tract loops around and extends towards the head. Flipping the upper part of the head reveals the anus. Pressing gently, you can see feces being expelled. The reason the anus is located towards the head is due to the coiling of the body inside the shell. Similar to snails, the anus in whelks is also located in the front. Lastly, this part is the siphon where the whelk breathes using water that enters through it. Above the siphon, you can find the gills which aid in respiration and gas exchange. We've completed the dissection of the whelk. After boiling the whelk, making sure there are no toxic substances in the salivary gland, I removed the soft body. Then I removed the operculum, internal organs, and salivary gland, and prepare the flesh for consumption by slicing it into bite-sized pieces. Let's see if Sebastian shows interest. But once again, he didn't eat it. Sebastian himself is a gastropod, so he doesn't eat whelk. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe.